What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku and today we're just gonna try to catch some salmon off the beach. We're staying at this cabin. If you watched the last episode, we're still here at the cabin uh, on this island in Alaska. And last time we caught some salmon off the rocks. We're gonna try to catch one off the beach. If not, we'll move to the rocks again. Let's see what we can get today. I just wanna see how many salmon I can catch here from shore. It's pretty crazy. You can catch salmon from shore. Let this one sink just a little. There's one. Got one. Let it sink and I got one. Nice. Not too big. Oh no, came off. Oh man, damn, came off. All right, that's all right. We'll get him again. That was definitely a fish, 100%. Oh, got one. Oh, that was a tiny one. I don't know what that was. Maybe a Dolly Varden. It was a small one, I saw it, and just kind of hit it. Oh, now the fish are jumping out the beach. Of course, I knew it. <laughs> Whoa, there's a fish. Just jumped, jump splashed. Oh, oh, got one, got one. Got one right when I was, oh, came off again. <laughs> right as I was about to just reel it in and just go for a new cast. One hit right in front of me, dang. That was a nice one too. Lost two already. And here in Alaska, you don't have to use barbless hooks for salmon. So I shouldn't be losing these fish because these have barbs on them. But I caught several yesterday. Maybe it's, the hooks are a little dull from that. I mean, just the concept of casting from shore and being able to catch salmon, we would never do that back home, casting from shore. <laughs> and these fish are still very crumb too. We're not in the open ocean but there's islands in between the open ocean and us, but we're still completely salt water here. So all these fish are still very chrome. Oh, right next to me, jumped. All right, all right, we'll get him. All right, so he'll probably be right around there now. Come on, we're gonna get this guy. One way out there taunting me, just jumped three times. You know what happens when you taunt me? I'm gonna catch you. I'm gonna catch you. All right, next one, I'm sending the hook hard. Send the hook hard on him. Oh, there's one right here, oh my God. He just, just jumped right there. But I casted my lure way out there, but I'm gonna bring it back in. Why do they jump like that, huh? <laughs> Come on. Oh, there it is. He just jumped over there. They just keep passing by, they just keep coming by. They're all going from the beach, down, up, and then on that way. Yeah, everybody, all the salmon, they're all going the same direction, mostly. Oh, I just had a theory of why they might be jumping. Maybe they're practicing for the river run when they have to jump up those uh, waterfalls. So they're just getting some practice in. That's my theory. What do you guys think? I think that's pretty legit. They gotta work out their muscles. And it just started raining pretty heavy. All right, you know what? Last cast, it's too much rain. Too much rain. Oh, it's right there. Jesus, that was big. Oh, got him. 
Got one. Oh, there's two right here. Oh my god, I just... Whoa, whoa. There's a school moving through right now. Pink salmon. There's a school. There was another guy. There was another fish that I saw with this one, and I saw another, a bigger fish jump right over here. There you go, guys. A pink salmon. I'm gonna get this guy back in the water and uh, cast again because there's more fish right now. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. There was a big fish that I saw. See if the school's still here. <laughs> right when I was about to call it quits, got a fish, of course. <laughs> a lot of these fish chase it all the way up to here. All right, last cast, I gotta go make some breakfast. Oh, there's a fish coming, which means there might be another school coming. All right, might have to wait. A few more minutes, a few more minutes. Oh, there was a tiny fish. Oh, got a fish. About the same size as the last one. This one's wild though. Well, maybe a little, maybe even smaller. Ooh, came off. Another pink, I think. Another pink salmon. There we go. Another pink salmon. We'll get this guy back. Little guy. There it goes. All right, let's go. Let's go. Here's, I'm back, baby. There's another fish coming. Got him. Got another one. Three in a row. On fire, let's go. Actually, it's not. It's about the same size. About the same size. Come on in. Come on in. They can pull pretty hard, actually. For their size, it's not bad. When they want to go on a nice little run. Ooh, look at that. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> This guy, this guy won't give up. 10 pound test, pretty light leader, pretty light setup, very fun. Another one, gonna get him back. Doing a bunch of catch and release today. So I already have salmon from yesterday and uh, I can't carry that many in my van. This is very fun though. It's a very, very fun type of fishing. It's <clears throat> literally so peaceful out here. We're on this island at the cabin and there's only one cabin. So it's only us in this entire cove right here. There's nobody else. It's Amazing, to say the least. All right, maybe one more, we'll cook breakfast. We have some Dungeness crab that uh, we got last night, so should be a tasty breakfast as well. Last cast. Nice, long last cast. One more last cast. One more last cast. Last, last cast, finally. For real's last cast.
Okay, let's go have some breakfast. All right, we're about done with our make. We're about done making our breakfast here. We got some Dungeness crab egg Benedict, and we used uh, instead of hollandaise, we got some hot sauce on there. We ran out of eggs, so we got the the classic full whip kelp hot sauce and the Serrano full whip kelp hot sauce, and we topped it off with some furikake as well, all from Barnacle Foods. Look at that! This looks delicious. And we're topping it off with some flowers. Dungeness crab egg benedict with some Alaskan eggs. Some avocados. I don't know where those are from. <laughs> Probably not Alaska. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Big bite. Here we go. Oh, with the, with the claw on there too. <laughs> we made this before with, um, with lots of crab. And we thought that was good. But with the Dungeness, Alaskan Dungeness, Amazing. We've learned that Alaskan Dungeness is, surpasses Bay Area Dungeness. They have different flavors. It's much better. Whoa, this was a double yoker. Really? Yeah, you, you can tell, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can tell there's a little separation. <laughs> <laughs> Tell at this stage, but <laughs> okay, for breakfast, Benny. <laughs> oh, sorry, you're late. <laughs> that was delicious. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Back to fishing. Let's try to catch and catch one off the beach this time. <laughs> See you guys. Good one. Got one. Got one. Another pink salmon. Oh, this is so fun. I can do this all day. <laughs> oh my god, Alaska. So fun. That's a good one. Jumper. Oh, came off. Damn. Another one. Dude, I can catch salmon all day. <laughs> oh my gosh, this guy's going crazy. Come down, come down. Come down, come down, come down. Come down. Got a good one from shore, baby. Come on, don't come off. From the beach, from the beach. Oh yeah, don't come off this time. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Whoa! Oh, we just swam out of the water. Salmon, salmon from the beach. Pink salmon, oh, a light tackle. So fun. Okay. That was a big hit. That was not like a pink salmon. Whoa! Hey, I got a coho here, I think. Got a silver. Pretty sure this is a coho right here. Just the very next cast after I caught this pink. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. Whoa! This is a, this is a big one. Back to back. Oh my gosh, dude, that's a big one. That's a coho. Is that a king? Wait, hold on. Is that a king? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, this is a coho. Silver salmon. This is a big one. Yeah, this is a key. This is a keeper. I didn't have time to walk back. I know. Nice, nice female. Mm -hmm.